Hey, welcome back, my scrubs, to another episode of Rampa. You guys wow. hit 30k likes, so I'm here making another episode. Is Waifu gonna die today? I don't want Waifu to die, all right? Oh, that's so scared. <laughs> Everybody, introducing the new character, Peanut Butter Bites. They deserve to be there. Please sponsor me. <laughs> now, if that ain't a reason to leave 30k likes, another reason is if you don't, the series ends. I must stick to my words. That may sound like a threat, but actually it's been very fun for me watching the support come through every single episode. So that's right, 30k likes, smash it. It's so easy. It's a single tap. It's so, it's just like that. You know, it's just like that. Smash the like button or no one gets hurt. <laughs> Before we officially get started, I just got to recognize this fan art that I got. Uh, Arlo Productions uh, uh, gave me this beautiful, beautiful art. This better not be a spoiler that she takes steroids. I need to know. If you missed last episode, be sure to check it out. I'll link it right here. Asahina Waifu uh, it seemed to be more focused on her, you know? And she found what she believed was Chihiro's ghost. But as it turns out, spoiler alert from last episode, it was just a laptop all along. Will the laptop be able to decipher everything? Who's gonna die this episode? Cast your votes down below. Oh, he hello. Good morning, you're kind of sweaty. Have you been exercising? That's right. <laughs> yep, yeah, me and Sakura were doing our morning workout. Oh God, it's starting. <laughs> oh, but I didn't break our nighttime promise. I just ran around my room till it ended. Why don't you come with us next time? I don't think I can keep up with you and Sakura. Aw, oh, seriously? Dude, take it. Like, come on. Ah. Okay, then we can do something in the rec room. I'm not uh, good at much, but I do know how to play Othello. I don't even know <laughs> what that is. I'm not very good at that either, though. I don't really like to think when I'm playing, so... Good morning, soccer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Last episode, we got to see all the muscles uh, that soccer had, and that was something. Uh, <laughs> we got to see a lot of muscles. Did you just wake up? Yeah. Waking well, up for our breakfast meeting is fine, of course, but getting up a little early is better. You can exercise in your room till nighttime means a big meal after waking uh, uh, after working up a sweat is divine. All right, I don't know how that helps us. I guess... What are we doing? So the people here today are the same as yesterday, just a seven. Byakuya and Toko are the lost cause, but... It looks like Taka's decided to stop coming for good, too. It's like he's just given up. Yeah, it's so sad. I, I really feel like, at this point, he... If he's this broken, he's definitely gonna probably... Like, he is capable, at least, of murdering somebody. I That's what I think. For people who want to decide as he is, when you snap, you snap hard. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish there was a way to make him better. Oh yeah, like you actually care about people. You're just as bad as Byakuya sometimes, Celeste. On another topic, Kyoko did everything go all right last night. Oh yeah, that's right, she left her door open the whole night. Indeed. Yeah, I didn't have any problems. Yeah, because no one's... Correct. Everyone's scared. Although she could be the rat, because that was also last episode as well. Someone is like a rat, for sure. At least that's what I think. I would have choked on the laptop a little while ago, but there weren't any problems there either. Or checked on it. I say choke on it, <laughs> like they eat it. Kyoko seemed to hesitate, but Ooh. it's related to this case, so I suppose I should be blunt. Anyway. I have to make a new rule. Using alter ego without permission is prohibited. That's a good rule. Someone going in and out of the dressing room would uh, draw unwanted attention from the mastermind. Oh. I would have thought that was obvious. Why do we need to make a rule about no. it? That's a good question. Hey. Do you have any thoughts on that, Hifumi? Oh. Oh. No, it's just like you said, we all need to be very careful. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's trying to find that. He's trying to go on his hinty. On the computer. What the heck? Huh? Hey, what? Whatever, let's just hurry up and eat! <laughs> Is he hiding something? He fool me? We ate breakfast in a rush and then headed back to our rooms. Is it free time now? What should I do today? Yep, free time. This is the part that obviously I'm gonna skip a lot of. I know some of you guys get mad that I skip things, but... I can't. I just can't. It'd be way too long episodes. No one's got that kind of patience. Besides, you know what I'm gonna do anyway. <laughs> Asahina! So actually last episode, I think we got some donuts, so I really want to give those to, to Asahina anyway, regardless. Like, because I think it's better to give them things that they actually like. So let's do that. There she is! Each and every person has to do their job. The cooperation of each player is true teamwork. You got it! That's the quote from a famous rugby player. Okay, uh, yeah, we're just gonna hang out. We went for a light run through the school. Yeah, that's right, they don't like have a track. <laughs> I spent so much coins, like you have no idea. There it is. Well, it's a flotation donut, but she'll appreciate it. For sure. Hey, can I talk to you for a second? What's up? I wanted to ask you something. What is it? I mean, can you just come to my room when you get- I'll be right there. Better not stand me up. Without bothering to wait for a response, Tina ran off, and I, I did as well. So yeah, I think when you spend time with like this, you actually get to go like deeper within the character, you know? Deeper within the story of the character. Sorry for making you have to come here. I don't mind. What's going on? 
I just wanted to ask you something. Will you promise to give me a real answer? Yes. Well, Anything. What do you think about me? I mean, as a woman. Oh. What do I think? <laughs> what I'm trying to say is... Do I have womanly charms? Of course you do! Of course you do! Well, I mean... Wait, where's all this coming from? People have always told me that I'm not ladylike. And I mean, I, can, I can't really disagree. All I'm good at is sports, exercise, physical stuff. But I think maybe that's just because I've never actually been in love. Well, allow me to introduce you to love. She doesn't see what's right in front of her. <laughs> Since I've never fallen in love, how can I say I'm a woman? So that's why I'm... Um, I want you to be my boyfriend. Oh, whoa! Okay. Oh my god, that's this, that calls for a, that calls for a celebration dance. <laughs> Ew. Ew. I mean, she just said that. She just straight up said it. I didn't think you could actually like. I knew I liked called her wife and everything, but I didn't think you could actually like be with them. Okay. Uh. No, I mean not like my real boyfriend, just like a practice run. What does it even mean? <laughs> Practice run. I mean, I'm not a woman because I've never been in love and I can't fall in love because I'm not a woman So she doesn't love us for us. It's like a vicious cycle, you know So my strategy is I'll do a practice run to draw up my feminine side. Well, I mean it can't be Sakura, right? It might be I don't know. I can't have Sakura stealing her away from us That way I'll be in the perfect position to fall in love So I'm asking you I'm begging you to help me practice and pretend to be my boyfriend. I think I will but I mean, seriously, but... you're the only one I can ask, Bakoto. I mean, how many other guy friends do I have? It was, it was, it was because we gave her the donut noodle thing. Please. I'm on my hands and knees here. It won't even take that long. What does it even mean? <laughs> okay. He just seems really serious about this. Fine, I guess I'll help. <laughs> For a little while. <laughs> you mean it all right? Well, I mean, well, Sayaka died. That was the only other real option. So here we go, you know? So what am I supposed to do? Mm. Uh, good question. Um, well, whatever. Let's just get started. <laughs> whatever. Okay. Here we go. Um, oh, darling, you're home. Oh, we're like, <laughs> we're like role playing. Are you ready for dinner or should I get a bath going? Wait, Hina, that's more like a stereotypical 1950s married couple than anything. Uh, different approach then. Hmm. You lied to me. You said you left your wife. <laughs> that's even worse. <laughs> really? You mean I can't even get a practice run right? No. Dude. Makoto, shut up! Just let her. Was that the fatal blow? Seriously, what am I supposed to do? Just become that one crazy lady who gives up on love? Hold on, let's dial it back. First of all, do you really want to go through with all the practice stuff? I, mean... I told you I'm not ladylike. Even if that's true, I'd say that's just part of your charm. Huh? huh? If you push it and get all nervous, that's totally not you, right? Personally, I think you're fine just the way you are. Because, I mean, that's who you are. Huh? Dang, we're being such a... Such a chad right now, Makoto. And falling in love is supposed to be fun, right? If you stress out about it, there's where's the fun in that? I mean, it's not that I know everything about love either, so that doesn't really mean anything. Um... No, it does. If it's you saying it does mean something. Maybe you're right. I shouldn't push it. I should just be me. You got it. I just have to wait until I meet the right person like Jason State. No, not like Jason Statham. Makoto. You have very specific taste. I think you'll be waiting a while on that one. <laughs> Makoto, I'm, I, I, if I could slap you, I would. Why does the main character always got to be stupid? I mean, to be fair, though, he did lose probably the, the one he really did love, which was Saika, you know? And we didn't even get to kiss. Like, what the heck? <laughs> well, we definitely got a lot closer. Oh, so we, like, officially came friends. The truest sense of the word. I, as long as I don't, I don't want to be friend zone. I really don't. So what's your type, huh? What kind of girls are you into? Okay, huh? <laughs> what? Come on, don't get embarrassed. Okay, well, she obviously is in, into Jason Statham. <laughs> Someone give me some clippers. Gotta shave my head. Oh, I got ambidextrous. Okay, cool. Uh-oh, someone came to the door. Sounds like someone's here. Is it the bear? It's probably the bear. Okay, all right, that's shocking. <laughs> Taka! Is it true? Can I really see Chihiro? Oh, crap. You mean Alter Ego? He's still alive? No, not quite. Let me see, I wanna talk to him. Taka. The way he is now, there's no way I can explain what's going on to him. Kyoko said that we're not allowed to use Alter Ego, but even so, I can't just leave him there like this. Okay, why don't we get going? Okay, we're breaking the rules now, all right. We're so, I bet you we're gonna blow everything right now, watch. Okay, so there's a laptop inside the locker, understand? And on the laptop, there's a program called Alter Ego. How do I talk to him? 
Um, well, you just tell me what you want to say and I'll type it for you. Do you hate Mondo? Oh. That- that's a good question, but like, I don't think it could talk for Chihiro. It was clear he was forcing himself to get the words out. From his mouth, from the bottom of his heart, he forces a weakened voice to make the sounds. Please. Okay. I type the question, and then... So, um... Do you hold yourself responsible? But... If Master could talk now, I think this is what he would say. Please live your life for the both of us. It's impossible for, for me now, but you could still survive and escape, all of you. Hey, Taka. I was about to say more, but quickly closed my mouth. Hey. The one asking those questions is Taka, right? And that- Oh, wow. That's- That's really smart. Um. Master told me how close Taka and Mondo had become. So that must be why he feels responsible. Responsible. The screen suddenly went dark. And what appeared- And what appeared next was- What?! You're not letting yourself get crushed under the weight of that responsibility, are you? What?! A man's only worth as much as the load he can carry. You get it, right, bro? Well, what am I saying? Of course I do. Or you do. That's... So. I'm sorry if I startled you. That was my attempt at a simulation using the data. Oh, so I created it. That's so sweet. <laughs> I figured if Taka was depressed, that kind of thing Mondo would have said to him. Or that's the kind of thing he would say to him. So you're just gonna stand there, huh? And just wait for things to get better? Just take your time to get all depressed. Take the time to indulge your, your regrets. You might even walk... You might even start walking again without realizing it. Sure, that kind of mediocre thinking might work for some people. <laughs> what if I said it with that kind of a condescending tone? Oh, he's laughing. Taka? Oh god, he's going Super Saiyan! It's starting to sink in. The way a bucket full of water sinks into a bone-dry sponge. Huh? Those words deep within my heart- Oh no, he's transforming! <laughs> They're inside of me. Oh, he has ascended! Oh my god. Who the fudge is Taka? Your eyes! Wait a minute. Is he, did he actually transform? Don't worry about it. I guess I caused uh, kind of a scene, huh? Shoot, man. And your voice. Yeah. I'm a new me. I'm totally stuck with fighting spirit now, you dumb butt. Oh, that was some. That was that was a low blow to call me that. Okay, Taka, just calm down. <laughs> I am calm, but don't call me Taka. <laughs> don't call me Shirley. And that's not my name anymore. I'm me. I am me. Taka let a bone chilling howl and ran out of the room. Hey, Taka, hold on. Oh god, he's gonna cause a scene. But someone stood in my way. Oh god. Well, yeah, I seen this coming. Just a second. What do you think you're doing? Yoko! Um, this is Enough just already. Don't go around doing whatever you feel like. It causes problems not just for me, but for everybody. Sorry. Correct. If you're really sorry, you'll get out of here now. Okay. Well, Taka's good now, right? So what was his sudden freak out? I'm seriously worried about him. I still don't know. He might still murder someone. He's like, I'm so fired up. I could stab somebody. <laughs> oh, okay. So, we need, right, so we're going to go to the dining hall now and tell everyone what happened about Taka. Clearly. If he's even there. <laughs> if someone's missing, I'm going to freak out. Oh, God. Yo, I've been waiting. Are you the only one here? Where's everyone else? They went on ahead. To where? Hey, we can on. talk about it later. For now, let's go take a bath. <laughs> Bath? Oh, I get it. Take a bath. Ah, I see. Someone help! He pulled me. What's going on? Mikoto, save me. I've never asked you for anything, but I'm asking now. What happened? She's trying to kill me. He pulled me, pointed at. Oh. Kyoko's trying to kill you? Well, okay. She probably, like, did something wrong. I never said I was going to kill him. I simply asked him a question. I'd like to know why he made the same mistake twice. What is the mistake? He snuck into the dressing room in the middle of the night and uh, accessed Alter Ego without permission. And when I caught him last night, he was hugging the laptop and breathing strangely. <laughs> what were you doing? I thought I made myself clear yesterday, but since being subtle didn't work, I suppose I have to clear myself further. Clarify myself further. Please don't kill me! I'm not gonna kill you, merely instruct you. Could you tell me what happened? Well, I was just talking, which was prohibited, was it not? I mean, you see, talking to her was just so much fun and I just... Okay, time out. I can't even believe I'm about to ask this, but you feel me? You're not gonna tell us you fell in love or something, are you? That I, the cold-blooded killing machine of the underworld, would ever fall in love? That's... Well, wait, no, wait. Is it... Seem... Is this love? I happened to do a psychic reading for a famous CEO once, and that guy was seriously head over heels for a mannequin. He had a wedding and everything. And your eyes just now, I saw the same look. <laughs> she's not a mannequin, she's an angel. It's a he, you piece of crap. I feel as if. And don't bother telling me angels exist. What we have can't be defined by your pretty words. Uh, you're totally in love. How do things end up like this? 
Well, at the beginning, I just wanted to hear her say master one more time, but then I was poking around at her settings. Oh, he wanted to see them settings. <laughs> and saw she was a well-designed program, and it was like, how can I say? It was the first time I I was ever able to talk like that with a normal girl. Okay, now you gotta go make me sad. <laughs> but she's definitely not a normal girl. Even It's not a girl, though. Like, Even when all we did was talk about my hobbies and stuff, she wasn't annoyed or disgusted or anything. Your stories are so interesting, Hippo Me. Come on, tell me more. I want to learn everything you have to teach me. So they just ignore the fact that he, he just sees a girl. Okay. That's the first time a girl's ever said something like that to me besides my mom, I mean. Hey. Your mom says stuff to you like that all the time. I'm just waiting for someone to correct them. I was just so happy. It was so much fun. And before I knew it, I found myself, you know, liking her. Her face, her personality, her voice, even her keyboard. Well. Even the keyboard? <sighs> I think I misunderstood the situation, Hippo Me. Are you okay with this? Alter Ego was not interested in you, it was interested in what you knew. It's an artificial intelligence, it's just using you. I know, but I still... Are you saying it's totally hopeless? You gotta be freaking kidding me! Oh my god, he is completely changed. Hey you jerks, I'm sitting here listening to you guys jibber jabber on or whatever, and I like how he doesn't actually curse. Oh Taka, are you back? Who the heck's Taka? I'm you. Listen up in- Listen up in me, got it? You're who? What? Don't bullcrap me, isn't it obvious? I'm Kyotaka and Mondo, so like Kyo Kyondo, I guess. I'm gonna stick a banana up your tailpipe. Wait, what the kind of fusion is this? What's happened to you, Taka? Actually, I told everyone what's happened the day before. So because of what Alter Ego said to him, are you sure it's Alter Ego's fault? Maybe Mondo's ghost showed up and possessed him. Ghost? No, there's no such thing. What are y'all whining about? Come on. What? God, you're really cheesing me off. Oh, he's spicy, man. Hey, Hifumi. Yes? Yeah. I don't know what you're thinking, but bro belongs to me. Huh? Yeah. Alter Ego, he's an exact copy of the one who gave me my soul back. And I'm not gonna let anyone else have him ever again. Or <laughs> him ever again, fudging idiot. You're fudging freaking idiot. I'm afraid I can't allow that. What? Oh my God. Joe's, he's gonna kill him. Okay. I can't withdraw. Mystery, <laughs> that's how he would sound too. Mystery Shumaru, since I have this opportunity, let me say this right now. Destiny has bound me and her together in the Gordian of Knot of True Love. Well, me and him have been melded at, oh, so he's, he's the one correcting. Together in the white hot heat of friendship. Hey, come on, you guys. Moron, talk down to me and I'll run my fist right into all four of your vital points. Well, I put you the speed of sound and I... <laughs> <laughs> I like how he's like all tough. Enough already. Knock it off, both of you. Hey. This doesn't belong to any one person. Share a life to all of us, and we can use it to gain access to vital clues. Kyoko's right. Okay. Hey. And they'll have to deal with me. <laughs> yeah, he's scared now. I need to know before, hopefully, like, you know, she doesn't, like, before she dies, if that even happens. I'm really hoping, obviously, it doesn't happen. But I need to know if it's possible to be just with someone because we are like dangerously close. Not really dangerous, but yeah, you get my point. Yeah, so I think when there's a star next to their name, that officially means that we are top tier relationship, which means I'm friend zone, which is makes me sad. All right, I guess next in line is Genocide Jill. Is it really a good idea to be hanging out with her? I I, I gotta say I'm very curious, so I'm gonna do it. If you don't mind hanging out with a serial killer, I don't mind hanging out with a chump. That's what I like to hear. Genocide Jack and I am um, killed some time together. Uh, <laughs> did I just get a little closer to her? <laughs> Would you like to give her a present? Uh, sure, but we have a knife. Oh, what is she even like? Is there like a gun? Any weapon of any sort? Something evil. I found the perfect thing. I'm gonna give her a skull. <laughs> I mean, honestly, what could be what could be more perfect? She would love it. What the- you sure? I'd be happy to take it off your hands. Does that mean she liked it? Maybe if we just like give her enough things, enough donations, she'll just like not kill us. Maybe? Ding dong, bing bong. Okay, so yeah, I just wanted us to do more free time, I guess. Dig it. Ah, hope I didn't miss like an opportunity to, to do more stuff. It's usually about two nights and then someone dies. That's the pattern so far, so we'll see. I better get to the dining hall. To the dining Oh, Taka and Kyoko are not here today. That is not good at all. Kyoko's still on guard duty, probably. I have no idea about Taka. May as well just forget about that guy. You don't have to get so mad. Oh, that sounds like he killed him. 
<laughs> They're rivals in love. What are you gonna do? Don't put me in the same level as that virgin. I might I might catch his virginity <laughs> Now my guess is you already infected wait, can you really catch it? Oh <laughs> Oh, that's funny. As soon as my hands approach my food. Oh, that's a good sign. Toko is laughing. The doors of the dining hall exploded open and a figure appeared. Oh, she's got her scissors. So, in the end, so it's you, Genocide Jack, and don't bother asking why we arrived at the same time. The answer should be obvious. I'll give you a hint. I'm wearing red lingerie. And why would you say that? I don't think anyone wanted to know. Hold on a second, you. Huh? What's your top power level? Like 35, 22, 33? You start out big on top to try and look thinner down below. What? Look at your melons. They're seriously gargantuan. Do you dunk them in milk every night or something? <laughs> You're starting to freak me out. No if you lay a finger on Hina, I will show you no mercy. So what do you want? Surely you're not here to join us for breakfast. Of course not. I came to hear a story. A story? A story that nobody bothered to tell me yet. Are you talking about Alter Ego? Sorry, but we can't talk about that right now. Why not? Because of certain circumstances. Up until now, you haven't given a crap about anything. Yeah, he just waltzes up on in here. He's like, tell me everything. If anything, it's strategy to not tell him things. It's all clear now. Because he's just going to set up a crazy plan, you know? I just made a decision. When we get out of here, I'm going to feed your body to the vultures. <laughs> it's kind of messed up. So he noticed that Taka was weird. Did his spirit collapse or something? Was he unable to withstand this environment? All right, so he's leaving. But again, he's always plotting something. Yeah, let's get out of here. Hey, you don't need to come with me. <laughs> she's still, uh, she's still stalking him. Byakuya started to slowly back out of to, to his room. He started picking up speed, and soon he was sprinting out of the dining hall. <laughs> he ran away. So now he's running to hard to get. I see. So at the end there, what was that all about? Uh, um, Just now, Byakuya was like, maybe he's like the mean guy who starts acting different and getting all flustered when things change. Hmm. Guess so. Those of us left in the dining hall finished our breakfast and went back to our rooms. That's weird. Nothing's happened, really. So yeah, I confirmed that everything, we did everything with Aoi. There's nothing else that we can actually do, but <laughs> she chased me around the school, her fist flailing. Oh, what a good time to spend. So, I, okay, I ain't gonna lie, I cheated a little bit. She likes the everlasting bracelet. I mean, how could I ever possibly know that? But the, it actually, there is better things you can give people. It's so wonderful, can I lick it? Why? When you get something this nice, don't you just love to lick it or is it just me? <laughs> Stop! Oh, nothing. Is there no cutscene for her? Maybe I didn't do it at the right time or something. Huh? There's something by my door. Oh. Oh no, not serious music. This piece of paper looks like someone must have slipped it under my door. Meet in the dining hall. The handwriting's really good. Who? Oh, that's that's Toko for reals. She's a writer. She's saying. What's the point of calling me out like this? What kind of, I'm kind of nervous, but there's no way I can't check it out now. Is there ever gonna come a point where someone tries to kill me? Because we've yet to see that. We're always just like someone else dies, but we don't die. Oh, you. Then the letter I found in my room. Hello? Yep, I wrote it. My handwriting's really mm. nice. Well, I always thought that if you had bad penmanship, a ghost would come and haunt you. Who taught you that? And why'd you want to meet with mm. me? Oh, I just did what Kyoko asked me. What? I'm just an errand boy. Mm. Anyway, what'd you say to a late night bath session? Huh? You know? Okay, let's do it. I like how they just call it that. Wait, did Al did Alter Ego finish the search? You got- oh! Let's go, come on guys! Oh cool, we're about to beat the game then. <laughs> oh crap, everyone's here. We haven't seen Monokuma this entire episode, that's a problem. It's almost 10 o'clock, you know, bedtime for all the good little boys and girls. Mm -hmm. Shut up. What? What'd you say? You want me to make you cry, you little girl? Taka, he seems to be even worse off than I, I'd heard. Maybe it's a good thing, maybe he's finally starting to grow a personality. What? You got a lot of poop falling out of that mouth. <laughs> How rude! A maggot like you has no right to speak that way to our heaven-sent master. Oh. All right, so why? Why are we here? Yoko, explain yourself. It's gone. Oh, what? No! Of course the bear would walk in here eventually. I came here a little earlier to check up on things, and that's when I discovered Alter Ego, the laptop, has disappeared. I see this coming. I really did. No way! You're kidding, right? Oh. Huh? What? Oh. She's gone? You told me you're, like, prime suspect? Are you fudging serious? Hmm. Was it the mastermind? Did they finally notice what we were up to? Yeah. I told Alter Ego to tell if anyone he didn't recognize appeared. If it was a mastermind, I'm sure he would have alerted us. Well, Maybe we just missed it? However, I was in the laundry room right next door all day. There's no way I would have heard it. But if it wasn't the mastermind, then... Well, he can just teleport. Like, I... 
I just feel like this is such a bad plan. Like, he could easily come in here whenever he wanted to because he, he could, like, just appear. He's accusing Taka, of course. You're the suspicious one here. You're nothing but a big jiggling sack of fat. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. I, I can see it already. If someone's done, I'm gonna die. This isn't even my true form. I still have three more transformations left. Damnation. Wait, I mean, if it wasn't me, everyone knows you're the thief. Yeah. Wrong, it's you. Serious. Well, I'm sure it was one of you, so whoever did it, just hurry up and confess. No, there's no way either one of them would have did it. It's okay, so Bialkia. Now I can't even trust Bialkia for anything. Huh? So I told I told Alter Ego to yell if either Taka or Akuma came into the dressing room. What? What? <sighs> it was a countermeasure against the clear danger that one of them might come for it. <sighs> but I never heard any yell. Indeed. Exactly, which means it wasn't them. Uh just 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 say it now, Bialkia. It was you. Makoto, Celeste, Sakura, Hino, Tako, or myself, one of us must be the thief. That's terrible. Why would any of us want to steal the RT? What about Kyoko? Like, right? She wouldn't hear if she stole it. Of course, she wouldn't say that she heard anything. There's a traitor among us. I called it. Called it. Hmm. One of us is working for the mastermind, a spy. You know, normally in these circumstances, I would obviously jump to him and be it's like he's the spy. But now I think it's Kyoko. Can you deny the possibility? It can't be. I've actually been. Oh, cause they... no, it actually makes complete sense, right? Cause Kyoko. We don't know anything about her, and she wasn't even on the list. She wasn't on the list of the students that we first seen in the beginning of the game. So that's my reasoning, and I stand by this reasoning. Yeah, we don't even know what the ultimate thing she is. How could I trust her? Although he called it so well, though. A spy for the mastermind, a traitor. No, it's impossible. Something that horrible. There's no way. Why do you not speak? Are you struck silent by the in inability to comprehend such a possibility? I don't care. I don't care who. Someone, anyone, save her. Please rescue her. I'm begging you. I just want to see her smiling face again. Same here. How many times do they have to kill bro before they're happy? <laughs> I'll beg. I'll scrape my head across the ground. Just please give it back. So, um, this is pretty messed up, but I still think I get how they feel. At the very least. I think Alter Ego is most likely still safe for the moment, at least. Yeah, yeah if they wanted to destroy it, they could have done it here. That I does see. make a lot of sense. Oh, no, no, no. Not the Ding Dong Bing Bong. No. Oh no, is it not? It's because it's nighttime, right? Something's definitely up that he hasn't showed up once. All right, so we're gonna do the investigation tomorrow morning. We'll see. Oh no. So we, so we went to the dining hall in surprisingly high spirits, but when I found out what was waiting there for me, what happened to the others? Aren't they coming? Don't no 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 no. <laughs> oh wait, but okay, but she's here. So I I don't need really, at this point. I don't even know why I'm scared. God, this is why I hate people who take their sweet time with everything. However, Let's wait a while. Okay, we're gonna wait a little while longer. All right, hey, so as long as Hina's here, right? So we waited. But no matter how long we waited... Holy crap. No way. Um. So it's 8 o'clock. We were waiting here for a full hour. Why haven't the others come? That's a lot of people. I mean... Have they formed a group? Celeste has never missed a day till now, or Hero. And I'm really- what I'm really worried about is Ifumi and Taka. They were more eager than anyone to look for Alter Ego, so they're not here. It can't be. Something must have happened. It would seem- I was careless. I was too distracted by Alter Ego. But Monokuma gave us a motive. There was no way something- w Oh yeah, that's right! The money! I forgot about the money! Who needs money? Alright, we gotta go look for the people. Ooh, it's finally happening! Something's happening! Without another- another word, we left the dining hall. <clears throat> hey. We can cover more ground if we split up. Sakura, you go check the dorms. Make sure to go check all of our rooms. Makoto, you check on the first floor of the school. Meanwhile, I'll check the second floor. Okay. Okay, I guess I'll check the third floor. Be careful! Anyway. Okay, well, we gotta look around here. Well, we haven't really been to the nurse's office yet. I'm really curious about that, so... No one's in here. Good. I guess. Alright, I'm, I don't want to examine anything. I just want to look for them. I don't think I could anyway. Bathrooms. Bathrooms. Oh! Oh my god, who was that? That sounded like Hina. What? Oh, it was! No! <laughs> She's supposed to be checking the third floor! There was no time to think. She, I was running for the stairs before I knew what was happening. Oh, you're alive. I flew up the stairs. I just... Da -da -da -da. <laughs> right away, I saw her standing there in the hallway. Please. Makoto, you know what's wrong? It's awful. The rec room was open. And when I looked inside, I saw... What did you see? I better get the others, right? I'm gonna go get them. Go on ahead, Makoto. Before I could say anything, she was rushing downstairs. Someone's dead. This is happening. The rec room. By this point, I was used to acting without thinking, so without thinking, I leapt into the rec room. Oh my god. Dude, I'm like... 
Oh, you're you're alive. But what happened? It was Celeste and she was hurt. No dead people though. But who attacked you? This is this is totally different. Usually there's never a person alive to say who attacked them, right? Makoto, Celeste, what happened? I was stupid. I got attacked. By who? I'm not sure. Some sort of strange man. What? Strange man? A suspicious person who is ex whose existence is so unusual. I can't help but call him strange. D just, did he? Did she get hit in the head or something? Cause like, come on, just say who did it. Without a doubt, it was some sort of strange, suspicious individual. And that man attacked me with the hammer on the ground there. Okay, this is odd. Why does? How does she not know? What is this? It was some kind of wooden hammer or something. Pretty strange design. There's a writing on the head. Justice one hammer. I barely managed to avoid the blow, but I stumbled and fell. I oh that you just fell? <laughs> so you were attacked with this. Justice hammer one. Makoto Celeste! Okay, alright. Okay. I found Sakura. What? Celeste, what on earth happened here? Dude, she's turning into the Hulk. Mm -hmm. A strange man. Tell us everything you can remember. Be as detailed as you can. <sighs> well, it happened earlier this morning. I woke up a little before seven. Nighttime was not over yet. But I knew it was about to end, so I decided it would be okay if I decided to take a little stroll around the first floor. I understood now that it was a mistake. Anyway, that's where I saw the strange man. I was immediately wary of him. Strange man? Like, that is- Like, that's a big deal for someone else to be here. This is like- She's like making this crap up. He was obviously suspicious, so I decided to follow him in secret. As I followed, I saw him go to the rec room. I tried to peek through the gap in the door, which is when he noticed me, and that's when you were attacked. <sighs> It happened after 7 a.m. just after just after nighttime had ended. So if it happened just after 7 o'clock, then that was just about an hour ago, right? When we were all meeting in the dining hall. The attack caused me to lose consciousness, which would mean I was unconscious for about an hour. But that doesn't make any sense. She could have been killed easily. What? Well, I'm just glad you weren't hurt too badly. That's because I begged and groveled for my life. You did? And she never saw, like, descriptions, nothing. It's probably just for the suspense of the game, but it's making me mad. Anyway, the more important thing is we go search for the suspicious individual. This could become a serious- Yeah, oh my god, you need to say more, lady. When I looked in the rec room, I saw that the suspicious man was not alone. He had with him Hifumi. Hifumi! After he attacked me, he dragged Hifumi away. What? You mean Hifumi was kidnapped? Um... How? <laughs> Sorry, but he's like super big. Like, how do you kidnap someone? I guess I like if he was threatening him, but it, the, the weapon's right there. So rather than trying to explain, I should just show you. Show us. Indeed. This is Hifumi's hand-me-down, his digital camera. You don't mean... He, oh, she took a picture. Huh? Seriously, let me see it. I would tell you not to be shocked, but I fear it would do you no good. With that strange comment in mind, we all looked at the camera. Now I get what they mean. <laughs> I get what she means now. Oh my god. The anime has come to bite him back. But who's in the costume? Freaking Transformers kidnapped him. What the heck? What? How does she know it was a man? Wait, what other girls is there? What? Yeah. So it's obviously someone taller than him. Is that a robot costume? As I said, a very strange and suspicious individual. Yes. But how did you know it was a man? I feel like that's a clue for sure. The point is someone dressed like that dragged Fumi away and it happened over an hour ago. This is bad. We have to hurry. Hayaku! If that's true, they headed down the second stairs. Oh crap, that's where Kyoko was supposed to be. Speaking of which, why isn't Kyoko here? Uh, I don't hate Kyoko, but I like I don't trust her either. I just I don't know. I don't want her to die. I don't want anyone to die. <laughs> Except for like, I don't know. There's a few people I don't really care about. Alright, to the second floor. Hey you two. Okay, of course. I I'm so glad to see you alive. I feel like he's gonna last till the end. Oh, uh, and you're alive too. Okay. Have any of you seen Kyoko or Hifumi? Nope, sure have it. Are they on this floor? We just got here ourselves. Okay. Oh, they they heard an uproar. Stop. There's no time. We'll explain later. Fine. Okay, fine. It sounds like something interesting is going on. Hey, put me, Kyoko. If you can hear me, say something. Her voice echoed down in, in vain. Oh. Did you hear something? Hmm. Maybe. Perhaps. I think it came from the library. Okay. Oh, God. When we opened the door to the library... <gasps> it hurts! Oh. We found Hifumi seriously injured. Are you okay? Um, I'm glad to see you're still alive. Oh. It's super bad though. Look at all the blood. What? How did you get hurt? That guy hit me. What guy? Robo Justice. Uh, that's what I decided to call him just now. What are you talking about? But he's alive, which is good. All right, so that's when they attacked him, right? So what happened? Spit it out. So another hammer. Where did they get all these hammers from? There he is. There he is. It's him. 
Now things are getting exciting. What kind of special moves does it have? Can it fly? Can it combine? Okay, that that's it. Okay. Why is he here? Okay Let's not concern, our, concern ourselves with him. All right, so we gotta get him to the nurse. So if there's a Justice Hammer 3, we can only assume it's even bigger than the first two. He's just like, where is he putting these hammers at? So Hifumi's okay, by the way. So we haven't found Hiro or Taka yet. That's right. By the way, what happened to Kyoko? I haven't seen her anywhere. Yeah, she's supposed to be checking the second floor, but we didn't see her. Oh no. I would be so shocked if Kyoko dies. Seriously. Okay, so yeah, basically Kyoko, uh, Byakuya is saying the same thing I did. Like, if she, she would have been the, the suspect, obviously. She could just say she didn't hear anything, right? Oh, I saw a shadow moving around at the top of the stairs. Really? Go, oh, get the transformer. Michael Bay, screw you. <laughs> he must be right here somewhere. Let's split up in corner. No, stop splitting up. That's the worst decision. Oh, God, not again. That strange cry it had to be Celeste. Oh, no, is it Celeste? Good, the suspense, huh? <laughs> Over here, everyone. Just a second. What's wrong? What? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. I saw him, the strange costume man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. Dude, I don't trust her. I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. Oh, she's normal again. No, we needed you to be in, like, freaking crazy mode. No! No, he fooled me again? <laughs> This is a roller coaster. All right, Makoto Hina, you're coming with me to the nurse's office. Yes, as long as we stay together. So then. All right, let's go, let's go. Hifumi, don't die on me! We stormed to the nurse's office, and what greeted us was a world. Oh, Hifumi's. Ah, oh, here it is. Ah, oh, no. Really? Why would he go back and attack with another hammer? He was fine. <laughs> Oh no, everything was covered in pink, actually. I mean, I can't, I, I like Tifumi, but like, I'm not super sad, but like, dang. And in the center of all this red was Tifumi. No! No! I sympathize with him though, because he was a fellow weep. He would have loved my figures. All right, my scrubs, I gotta end it there. It's gonna be too long, as you know. Next episode, we're gonna figure out who did it, and then we're gonna move on to the class trial once again. Who is in the Transformers? Smash like, 30k likes to find out. All right, thank you guys so much for the support, and I'll see you scrubs in the next one. Bye.